Hello. If you are preparing to take an important test soon and need a quick refresher on certain specific topics, you came to the right place. This is Review Central's Explainer Series, and it is designed to augment your review efforts by attempting to explain in the simplest, clearest, and most concise manner, certain topics that are likely to appear in your forthcoming exam. For this video we will endeavor to quickly explain to you the slope-intercept form of a line, one of the most commonly appearing topics in various mathematics exams. But first, a quick disclaimer. This is not a math lesson. We neither offer a full, comprehensive course on the given topic, nor do we claim to be an expert authority in mathematics. Prior knowledge of the given topic is presumed. If this topic is totally alien and unfamiliar to you, we recommend you take the appropriate course or class. In what types of tests are you likely to encounter the slope-intercept form of a line? Based on our research, and on feedback we got from various sources including many of our subscribers, questions involving the slope-intercept form of a line appear in a lot of exams with mathematics as a subtest, including, but not limited to, college entrance exams, such as the OOP-CAT, ASET, DCAT, OOZ-TET, and many others. Some professional licensure exams with mathematics subtests, like the licensure exam for professional teachers, and the PRC career service professional and non-professional exams. Scholarship qualifiers like the one for the DOST scholarship. International scholastic qualifying exams like the SAT, the GMAT, and the like. We even heard that it may have appeared in some employment qualifying exams of some multinational companies. We will add to our list if and when we hear of other specific tests that feature questions on this topic. Check out the description for any updates. So yes, if your test includes a mathematics subtest, it is to your best interest to get yourself a refresher on the topic, slope-intercept form of a line. Now let's get on to it. The slope-intercept form of a straight line is one of the most common forms used to represent the equation of a line. The standard form of the equation is where one side contains just y, so, it will look like y equals mx plus b where m is the value of the line's slope, and b is the line's y-intercept. It is called the slope-intercept because the two numbers in the formula or equation, m and b, represent the slope and the y-intercept of the line respectively. Either way, the slope of a line is a measure of its steepness. The y-intercept is the y-coordinate of the point where the line intersects the y-axis. We will cover the topics of slope and intercepts in separate explainer videos so we'll leave them at this for now. Review Central Pro Tip, we strongly recommend that you memorize this formula. Okay, so what type of test questions will require you to use the slope-intercept form of a line? There are a variety of ways that math examiners can present to you a problem involving the slope-intercept form. First, when you see the word slope and, or, intercept in the question, then you will most probably get to use the slope-intercept form to solve that problem. Not always the case as there are other forms of the line equation that may be more applicable. But in most cases you will be needing the slope-intercept form equation or formula. Second, when the equation of the line is given and you are asked to find either its slope or its y-intercept. Or both. Take note that the equation is not necessarily given in the standard slope-intercept format. In fact, in most cases it really isn't. That's usually part of the problem for you to figure out. Third, the slope and y-intercept are given and you are asked to determine the equation of a line. Or maybe you will first have to somehow figure out the slope and the y-intercept from some other clues provided before you can proceed to write the equation of the line. Fourth, the equation of one line is given and you are asked to determine the equation of another line. These lines usually intersect each other, or are connected or related one way or the other. There can be several other ways, mostly a combination or variation of the above examples. Let's take a quick preview of some examples for your better appreciation. Sample problem number one. Here's an example of a question involving the slope-intercept form. Find the equation of the line that passes through the point, x equals minus 3 and y equals minus 5, with slope equals minus 5 over 7. This is a typical and very simple math problem. As you can see, the word slope is used in the question so it is immediately a candidate for the use of our slope-intercept form. A coordinate, x equals minus 3 and y equals minus 5, is given. From here we can quickly pick out the y-intercept of the line. This is now definitely involving the slope-intercept form. 
with slope m and y intercept b already known, all that remains is to write the equation of the line following the slope intercept form equation format. That is, y equals mx plus b. Want to give it a try solving this simple problem? The correct answer is, 5x plus 7y plus 50 equals 0. By the way, this problem was modeled on an actual question that appeared on the UST entrance test or OOS test some years ago. Here's another example. Here, the given equation is already in the slope intercept form of a line format. Do you see it? This is another typical and simple slope related problem. All we need to do is extract the slope m from the given equation. By knowing how the slope of two different lines, in this case perpendicular lines, are related to each other, we can quickly arrive at the answer, which by the way is one fifth. We will cover the relationships between the slopes of two or more lines in a separate mathematics explainer so watch out for it if it is a topic that interests you. Oh by the way, this problem was modeled on an actual question that appeared in the OopCat some years back. Let's take a look at a third example. Here, a certain equation is given and we are asked to convert or transform it into the slope intercept form of a line. This is another very easy math question, but unless you know what the slope intercept form of a line is, you wouldn't be able to solve this simple problem. Actually, all this problem requires is for us to simplify the equation that was given not in the standard form, into the standard slope intercept form, y, mx plus b. So this is just basic algebra. And in a few simple steps we should arrive at the answer, y equals 4x plus 3. And yes, this question was also modeled on an actual one that appeared on a previous OopCat, mind you. Let's try one last one. Here, a figure is given showing two intersecting lines in the Cartesian plane. Some other details are given about line 1, but not much about line 2. We are being asked which of the given choices of equations could be the one representing line 2. Figures in math tests can be quite intimidating, aren't they? But at its core, this is actually a very simple slope problem which, of course, involves our slope-intercept form. The first step in solving this problem is to determine the slope of line 1, which can be quickly done using the two-point form of a line. Just like the slope-intercept form, the two-point form is another standard equation of a straight line. We are covering it in another explainer. After determining the slope of line 1 we can then determine the slope of line 2 through their relationship. And what is that? They are perpendicular, that is. Next is to determine the y-intercept of line 2. How do we do that? By looking at the figure. In the figure, it is very clear that line 2 crosses the y-axis at only one location, at y equals 0. So the y-intercept is 0. With m and b already known, the next step is to write the equation of line 2 in its slope-intercept form. Take note however, that in this case, although we haven't shown them here, none of the answer choices is written in the standard slope intercept form, which means that we need an extra step to transform the equation until we find a perfect match in the answer choices. But that's just basic algebra, right? Here are just a few other examples that we have compiled from various different math tests. Spend some time to read through them and find out if, just by reading the questions, you can figure out how the slope-intercept form is used in each of them. When you're done with this explainer video we encourage you to find and solve more similar problems for practice. By practicing to solve many of these types of problems, you become adept in figuring out how the slope-intercept form would come in handy. We have compiled, and we continue to compile, many more similar and related problems from various math tests, and from them we are making drill videos for you. If and when they are ready you will find their links in the description. And that's it for our quick explainer on the slope-intercept form of a line. If you have questions or clarifications, please leave us a comment and we will try our best to reply to you as soon as possible. Please also let us know in the comment section if there's any specific topic you want us to explain to you. Or try to explain to you, that is. Check out our various explainer playlists for other topics that we've already featured. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to Review Central, and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we upload a new review material on the channel.
Please like if you find this video useful and feel free to share to others who may also benefit from it. Good luck and see you in our next explainer.